Hi guys. guys! So we are very excited to discuss some drama, in my opinion, because this is a TV show that both of us watched. Uh, we enjoyed it, but didn't love it. And we think that the love story in this TV show is not credible. I'm talking about Netflix's best rom-com of this year, right? Nobody wants this. So this rom-com sparks a lot of debate. Why? Why? Because uh, Adam Brody is going to be a head rabbi in this rom-com and he falls in love with a girl that is atheist, a feminist, zero, uh, Jewish. zero Jewish roots and she is vocal about this. She is also, also very outspoken about her dating and sex life because she has a podcast, podcast with, with her, her sister. sister and uh, they fall in love. The debate is, would the guy in real life, as it was shown in the rom-com, just leave everything, uh, basically ruin his uh, relationship with family, with his Jewish community, community. Uh, with uh, all of his surrounding, and because also lose he... the, his dream job. Why? It was not just work, any work. He said that he dreamt of becoming head rabbi since he was a very young boy. Why? Because at the end of the TV series, he says to her that I'm quitting. It's okay if you don't want to convert at least now in order to be Jewish. So I'm quitting everything for you. So the debate is, would that happen in real life or not? What do you think? No, no. I think that uh, it won't happen in real life. I think it could have happened if he wasn't head rabbi. Yes. Maybe One it thing. could have happened if he's just Jewish but not religious also. Another thing. Okay, we know several very similar examples. Yes. So one example was our very good friend converted to Judaism to get married. And it wasn't an option she had to convert in order to get married. There was no option to get married without her. But converting. from the very beginning, it was clear that she's open to do that. That, yes. Second example is another friend who didn't convert. But even before she had a choice to convert or not to convert, his community, community turned to turned away from, from him, him because of him dating non-Jewish girl. And because she didn't convert. They basically cut off all the ties with him because... No, it was even before. They mm -hmm. didn't accept her mm -hmm. even oh, okay. before that. Okay. They didn't want her in their community because they were very religious. religious. Mm -hmm. The third example is a couple, they are Jewish. And, Both of them. Uh, uh, when he was asked, would and you And they have consider... like incredible love story. They're together for seven years, I think now. And it was very interesting from, for us. Uh, uh, from school? school from yes. school. And he was asked the question, would you consider dating or marrying her if she was not Jewish? His answer was straight away, no. no zero never. chances. If she's not uh, Jewish, zero chances, we, we won't even go on a date. But together. also he explained in a very simple way. Mm -hmm. uh, they went to Jewish kindergarten and then Jewish uh, school. They know straight away from childhood that family and society expects them to marry a Jewish person. Yeah. So let us know what you think about this. Do you think that would be possible in real life? Do you like the ending of the TV show? Because in my opinion, I can say that I disliked the ending. Why? Because I think it gives this wrong idea for me as a woman that basically everything is possible. It means that, let's say tomorrow, I'm meeting a guy and something doesn't work. And I think, yeah, but they showed me this incredible story. It means that maybe today this doesn't work, but tomorrow it will work. Mm. But it's not all, only rom-coms. Books for kids, all these um, cartoons, they always show that in the beginning 
the prince is not really considering, no? Or like he's yeah, maybe yeah, yeah. not a, such yeah. a great character, but in the end he falls in love and he changes or something like that. In the rom-coms, for example, I'm very surprised that everyone is saying online that uh, Adam Brody's character is such a sweet and nice guy and we all need this guy in our lives. To be honest, there were several occasions when I thought that he treats her really badly. And this is what I didn't like because it gave the idea that, okay, he didn't treat her nicely now, but... In the end, he gave up everything for her. Yeah. So the girls are watching these movies with the idea that, okay, today this guy is not treating me nicely, but in the movie and in the TV show, it always happens. In the end, they are happy together. But it doesn't like, work like that. You can't let someone else treat you badly with the idea and uh, hope that tomorrow he'll change and everything will be very good because Adam Brody did it. One of the examples when he treated her badly was when they went to this camp oh. and he didn't want to show her to other people. They were supposed to make a picnic outside. Then he brings food inside and he says, maybe we can stay, but picnic inside is amazing. It would be great if we do picnic inside. For me, it's awful. After she, just, she canceled horrible. a very important work meeting in order to spend this weekend with him. Yeah, this is just horrible, honestly. It's to like be honest, not there were okay. several uh, what other examples, examples like that you didn't like in the uh, I, I think that he should have asked her way earlier. Mm -hmm. I didn't understand when she at first said that it's okay for her to convert. Mm -hmm. He told her, but you're doing it because you really like uh, this idea, right? Yeah, you're not doing it for me. And it's like, really? Uh, firstly, they dated for a very brief time. Two months. So from the from an atheist to a person who really wants to convert, that's a very, that's a very drastic short change. Time. Yeah. So of course she's doing it for him, but he wants to convince himself that she's not doing it for him. That's a, not a sacrifice. She really wants to do it. This is a completely different thing. I just Ooh. want to add it that I, I dislike that everyone now says uh, Adam Brody, he ages like a fine wine. I, I go online and honestly, everything I see is Adam Brody. I agree. He ages like fine wine. He's really attractive. Uh, he looks really good. I agree. So but you want I feel bad that Bell? nobody uh, says anything about uh, Kristen uh, Bell. Bell. Uh, so my problem with the ending was I knew that Erin Foster is the prototype of mm -hmm. the um, main character. She converts. In real life. Yeah, this She's, is actually a she really converts good in point. real life. And her husband mm -hmm. asked her on like one of the first dates if she would consider doing it because it's very important for him. And she mm -hmm. said yes. And that's how they knew where this relationship is headed. Mm -hmm. What I disliked that I think the scriptwriters didn't want for a woman to change her religion. And they mm -hmm. thought, mm -hmm. let's make it feministic and a guy will convert. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I didn't find it credible, but I understand why they've done it. So they just didn't want a backlash from women that, oh, why did she convert for him? So they've mm -hmm. done it mm -hmm. the other way around. But I find it less credible yeah and it's also also a very interesting uh debate uh, so here uh, this story is based or on erin foster's uh, life relationship. Mm -hmm. relationship with her husband mm -hmm. her husband in real life asked her if she's willing to convert she said straight away yes which but... i find it really strange for an atheist to convert and start to believe in yeah, but this is another okay. uh, topic for discussion. But in this rom-com, we see that uh, uh, they change it the other way around. And he's head rabbi, head rabbi. And he is willing to just lose uh, his job, etc. I do uh, agree and I do understand why, why they did this ending. And I think it's also good that now they show these stories when not 
not only women have to convert, convert or it's because she would change, have to sacrifice change, her career. Sacrifice, for sure. Yeah, there is no way a wife yeah. or Heather Bai can tell about her dating and sex ex- uh, experience because exactly. also in the podcast, her sister complained that she is very boring now because she doesn't want to tell anything. Mm-hmm. And in the beginning, she was very proud of, because she said that everyone should be very honest and there is nothing bad in mm-hmm. being honest and telling everything mm-hmm. the mm-hmm. way it is. It is great that they did this ending because in real life, mostly women sacrifice career, uh, everything in order to be in a relationship. So here is great that the example is vice versa. But it's still, it's not very credible. Credible. Okay, guys, we have several questions for you. Do you know of any examples when a girl or a guy had to convert in order to get married? Uh, Are they still married? Do you believe in the ending? Do you Mm -hmm. think it's credible? Do you think it's a great ending? And how, in your opinion, this show should have ended? Yep. Thank you so much for watching and see you later. Bye.